welcome back to my channel. Um, in today's video I'm just going to talk about little tips and tricks that I find that just make my life so much easier. I'm a mum of four so yeah these are just the kind of things that I do in the morning time of in the morning when obviously getting the kids up for nursery and for school or even just night before. Little tricks that help me make my day run that little bit more smooth. So yeah let's just get into it. So the first thing that I do every night before I go to sleep is I go and I put a wash in, in the machine. I put a wash in, I put everything in that has to go in and it's ready for me. So as soon as I get up in the morning to get baby's first bottle, I just pop it on at like seven in the morning and it's done. I don't have to think about it because I can see myself sometimes when I've not done that and it's got to like one o'clock and I've not even done a wash yet and like all hell breaks loose in my house if I've not done a wash every day. You can, as you can imagine, there's just a, a lot of, lot of washing in this house. I really recommend doing that every single night, just making sure that it's in, ready to go, and it just saves you that hassle. So my next tip is, every single week, I will write out what dinners we have, what meals we have planned, but I also write out what breakfast and lunches I'm going to make for the kids that day. So each Every kind of Sunday night, I'll write down with a piece of paper, a pen, and I'll just write. So they'll say we'll have scrambled egg Monday, they'll have cereal Tuesday. And do you know, it's such a game changer that when you get up in the morning and you can just look at your notes, look at your phone and just see that oh, right, that's what they're having. It just takes that pressure off. Um, you don't have to overthink it. And then sometimes if you give your kids, I feel like when I give them too much choice, they don't really know what to pick. And yet I've noticed that when I do it this way, um, they eat so much better as well. So I really think that it's just quite a good little tip to have it all organised. Um, yeah, just have it all written out so that you're, you don't have to think about it the next day. You just look and you think, yeah, okay, this is what I'm making them. You don't need to worry if you've got it in because you've obviously hopefully bought it all with your weekly shop. And yeah. So my next tip would be to have everything out the night before. So with my eldest, I always get him to have his uniform out, his school bag, he even has his school bag and his trainers at the front door every single night, has that out, he's got his lunch money, he's got PE kit, that, his PE kit that he may need that day, he's got like everything that he needs, so I always make sure he's got all that out. Obviously for my younger girls, I have their clothes out every single day. Um, Sean does mostly most of the nursery runs for Holly, because Sean works from home. And he drives and it's not that near so I've, but even if like i've not got much planned that day i've got all of our clothes out the night before even the babies and mine and it literally just makes your life so much easier you wake up in the morning go for your shower whatever you need to do and then it's just all done for you and it's just like yeah it just takes that pressure off every single day My next tip is something that is really, I really, really stand by and I think that everybody should do it. If if you've got the motivation, I think everybody should do it. Not saying that I do it every single night, but I really, really try and I clean my kitchen every single night. I have seen myself when I've just left my dishes and I wake up in the morning and I can't even find a clean bowl to give my kids their breakfast and it drives me crazy, like makes me crazy. Yeah, and it just makes such a difference. Make sure everything's clean and tidy for the next day. And it just makes life so much easier in the morning. Nobody's like tripping over anything. You Nobody's looking for anything. Like nothing, everything, I feel like everything in my house has got a place. Everything has a home. Um, so yeah, I would really recommend that you do that every night. Give yourself 10, 15 minutes to just get it all picked up. Um, I even especially like doing it when the kids are asleep so I know that it's just getting done properly and I've got no like, you know, you're not going to have mum guilt of like tidying up all the time and your kids are, you know, wanting your attention. The next thing is routine is key. To me, it's like the most important part of how, the most important part in how to make your day run smoothly is a routine is to get all your kids in bed at a reasonable time so that you can have that wind down time because I think that all parents need that wind down time and if you don't you know it can start to get stressful life can get on top of you um if you want me to talk more about routines and things like that obviously my life is my kids are 
don't all sleep through the night and that but there is some things tips and tricks that I do have that I really do believe make a difference to their bedtime routine so if anybody wants me to go into that because obviously can I have a bit more detail then just let me know in the comments and I'll definitely um do a video on that but yeah the routine is key so basically like whatever you do stick to that every day stick to try and stick to the same nap times try and stick to the same time they have lunch um, the same time they have their dinner, the same time they have a bath, whatever it is you do to make your kids sleep at night, like try and keep it to that routine every day and it just makes such a difference. The next thing is I really try and limit TV time. My kids they love TV, doesn't doesn't every child, they love it, they could watch you know all the Disney movies all day long but I do try and limit it because I feel like they don't sleep as good at night if they um, watch too much TV before bed. So yeah, I really do recommend try and limit your TV time before bed for the kids. The next thing is try and have a plan for your day. So whether that is you're even just staying in, plan some activities you want to do with your kids whether it's drawing, painting, whatever, like my kid loves all of that, my kids love all of that kind of stuff, uh, have some sort of plan, um, but obviously if you're going out, have a plan of what time you're going out at, um, if you work it around naps, then that's fine, if you don't, that's fine as well, you can obviously just let baby sleep in the pram, that's what I tend to do if I've got any plans, and yet if you've got a plan for your day, your day just runs smoothly, if you wake up and you kind of don't know what you're doing, you kind of feel like uh, sluggish. For me, I do it anyway. You feel a bit sluggish. Your day ends up, you get to like three o'clock and it's like, I've done nothing. I'm still in my pyjamas, which don't get me wrong, I love doing that as well. Like, I love doing that. But I like to also have a routine of what we're doing. Yeah, so I just think it makes my life so much easier. Even if it's just out in your garden and, you know, sorting out your garden or, you know, just playing out somewhere, playing at the park with your kids, just to get out that little bit of fresh air. It's just so good for your mental health and it's just so good to like know oh yeah i've got a little plan today yeah and it just takes the like thoughts of like oh what am i going to do today so yeah i really think that that's quite a good one to just always have some sort of plan for your day ahead and it just makes your life run that little bit smoother and yeah next is i would always try and get my kids to help me tidy up and um, put their toys away you know, help them into the day-to-day -day life. You know, teaching them to help around the house is really important to me because I grew up and I, I had to help my mum and I think it was the best thing that she ever did teach us because it teaches you for when you're an adult, for when you become an adult because you're you're not going to have anybody doing anything for you when you move in. You meet a partner, like, you know, you just want to be kind of like, you want to be able to say to your kids, like, this is your chores, this is what you have to do. So basically Jaden, he's got his chores, so I get him to take the bins out. I get him, he's in charge of his own room. You have to pick up after yourself if you leave anything lying about. I get all my kids to do that. Um, even teaching Holly and Millie, obviously, put their toys away. And, you know, it's not always easy when they're so young, but yeah. So this is just little tricks and tips and tricks to help maybe make your days run a little bit smoother. Um, like I said, it's not easy, is it, being a parent? Um, I definitely don't think it's easy. I just try and do these things to make it that little bit easier. But like I said, it doesn't always go to plan. I wish it did, but it doesn't. But yeah, definitely. Just try and keep on top of things and we'll get there. We will get through this crazy journey called parenthood. We'll get through it together. And yeah, it's still amazing as well at the same time, isn't it? Having kids and just, you know watching them grow and learn and yeah it's pretty special but yeah if you just do these little things it will just make that life a little bit easier so yeah thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed it please like and subscribe to my channel i just love it when i see my subscribers going up and i'm just like oh I'm so excited and I just i'm just enjoying it so yeah thank you so much and i'll see you in my next one bye